Hello everybody, this is Tara and welcome back to my walkthrough of Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. A quick recap from last time, we just finished piecing together our conclusions of the accident that happened with all of the carriages. So now we have selected our possible suspects and we are going to go to Scotland Yard to interrogate them. So we have three possible suspects. So we're gonna have to look at their belongings, question them, and try and determine which one was responsible for setting off the electricity that caused the first technical, technical cab to fall over. And that caused the chain reaction of all the accidents. Ah, oh, Mr. Holmes, we have a slight problem. What happened? One of the suspects, Mr. Reginald Butcher, has escaped. It was after we asked him to put his belongings in the evidence room. I'm sorry. How did he escape? Um, he hit me in the face. Took me by surprise, you know, otherwise I, uh... Of course. That's all? Just before he left the yard, he shouted, Sorry, I'll come back later. Sorry, I'll come back later. He could have said that without punching me. Is Inspector Lestrade here? No, he will be absent for a couple of days. Can we keep this incident between us? Great. So now we have to find the escaped suspect as well. Okay, while we are here, we might as well look at the belongings of the suspects that we do have that didn't escape. Okay. Reginald Butcher is fond of sweets. So this is Butcher's belongings. Oh, so he's probably at the hospital. So I guess we know where to find him. This letter from yesterday perhaps explains why Butcher was in such a hurry. At any rate, I now have an exact address. Pretty convenient. The initials MB. MB, and it's pink. It looks like it might be a female's. He works for them, the Underground Electric Railways. That was the name that was on the side of the cart that was electrocuted. Reginald Butcher had problems with his job. This pen is an expensive one, but it isn't new. Okay, next one. This is Fowler. Thick leather gloves. They're probably insulated. Hmm, it's from a pastor. Benjamin Fowler? Whiskey. Of poor quality. Murad. Quite a popular brand of cigarette. My life has changed thanks to Pastor Gordon and my faith. Huh, so he's religious. A book. Karl Heinzen's 1848 De Maud with a bookmark. This terrible passage is apparently appreciated by Garrett. Wow, if you have to blow up half of the continent. Kind of horrible. Mr. Garrett. It's 
So he has a large debt to the Bank of England. Electrical wires. Electrical wires. Why? Okay. Let's interrogate them. This guy always looks so fed up with his life. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. So this is the man Good with the leg. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation. I'm Benjamin Fowler, and I was arrested by mistake. I swear it. You have not been arrested, Mr. Fowler. You are here as a witness. Oh, but I saw nothing. I swear. Let me go. Don't believe you. All right, let's see. We. Dog tattoo. Oh, it's the same tattoo the men in the technical cab that were killed by electricity. They had the same tattoo. That's suspicious. I think he's religious. Manual worker. We already knew that. I think he's a smoker. He doesn't look ill. Huh, there's still one left that I missed. Well, we knew that. We helped him. Forties, manual worker. Reconstruction of the statue in the square. Leg injury, dog tattoo. Attempt to hide. Religious, heavy smoker. Could you tell me what you were doing at the scene of the accident? I was working on the square statue. I work for the council, I swear it. I believe you. Do you ever work with electricity? Yes, sometimes. I repair electric lamp posts, but I'm not a specialist. I swear it. It's new, isn't it? And complex and dangerous. I understand. Mr. Holmes, I know you're a great detective and you understand me, so please let me go. I know nothing. I swear. Yes, you swear it. I know. Mr. Fowler, does the name Rasco ring any bells with you? First time I ever heard it. I swear. Rasco. Yeah, dog tattoo. But your tattoo resembles his. You are in his gang, are you not? Um, um, uh, no, it, it was a long time ago. I already forgot. I swear it. I just picked a few pockets for him when I was a young fellow. But I ain't proud of what I did. All my family, my parents, my brothers, dogs and cats all died when I was a lad. I wouldn't have survived otherwise. Hmm. Not sure what to think about that one. Let's try the next guy. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. He was the one that was being super sketchy. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Thomas Garrett. Why am I here? <coughs> you are a witness to murder. Of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the police jailed an innocent man in order to close a case. No one has been charged yet. Yet. <coughs> you. Is he sick? It's a nasty cough. I think he's sick. Anarchist symbol. Great. He 
Ew. I'm actually not sure what silicosis is. I'm assuming it's whatever he's coughing up. Ugh. Rough shape this guy's in. Okay. Oh, Garrett is aggressive. Anarchist symbol. Poor. Black sputum. Ick. He's ill. And he works with electricity. Could be him. Could be him. Did you perhaps see anything in particular during or after this disaster? Yes. I saw part of your bourgeoisie burn up and explode. It was spectacular. Why did you remain in the square? Why not seek shelter? Like the rest of the sheep. There were some wounded comrades, workers. I wanted to help them. You have a severe cough. Are you suffering? It's only a cold. <coughs> Black sputum. Why not be honest with me? You are spitting up black fluid. Ah, well observed. Yes, I have enough coal dust in my lungs to fuel an entire London district. You were a miner then? Since the age of 13, yes. At the Newcastle Mines. Fifteen years of hell. Those were bloody times. But now it's over. I don't want to die in those holes like my father and my brothers did in order to line the pockets of the rich. <laughs> oh, rough life. Do you have any electrical knowledge? How do you know about that? Are you a mind reader? <coughs> there are electrical wires amongst your belongings. Clever. Yes. I teach electrics to my comrades, since I'm currently without paid work. I'm self-taught, so we're not as dumb as you might think. And I don't want to work for bosses anyway. Difficult man, I'd say. All right, let's see. So we need to find that guy who escaped. We know he's at the hospital. We have so many things to do. Okay. I wonder why he's having problems at work. Huh. We'll see. Okay, let's travel to the hospital, see if we can find that man. Positive we'll find him there. While we're waiting, during our travels, Let's look at what we've got. Gosh, they spin so fast. Roscoe's gang tattoo. Um, no. Really? Let's try a different one. Benjamin Fowler has changed his worldview. He's now a churchgoer. There's one. Thomas Garrett would not have sufficient knowledge. I mean, he teaches it. He would have sufficient knowledge. Yes, I think he does. I think he would be able to do it. Okay, Benjamin Fowler sometimes repairs electric lamp posts. Wow, that one goes together? Okay, Benjamin Fowler sometimes works with like electricity, but he is not a specialist and it is doubtful that he would know how to create such a deadly trap. Man, are these three really going to be our suspects for the entire case? It seems way too easy. I mean, they were there. 
I don't think he has sufficient knowledge. No. So butcher. Is there anything else for bitch butcher? No. Okay. Thomas Garrett. Thomas Garrett. This one. Yeah, that sucks. The kicker. Alright. Problems at work. Let's see. Reginald Butcher. Mm, rebirth. was a bandit and he has since changed his ways. I believe that. All right. I really thought that that would match to more than one thing. That's not. Shall butcher. No. Okay, I think that's all that will match for now. Okay, that was a lot of clues. I guess it's all from interrogation. Oh. It's pretty. For a hospital. What do we have here? Let's see. Do a quick little browse. Looks like a children's hospital. Oh, I bet at you it's his daughter. I'm apparently in the children's ward. How sad. I'm apparently in the children's ward. Look at that doll. That's not creepy. Not creepy at all. Child. Oh, there he is. Oh, sad. Sad. Mr. Reginald Butcher, I've come from Scotland Yard. Might we talk? All right, but not too loudly. She's finally asleep. Is she your daughter? My pretty little Meryl. She's very ill. Now look. I'm sorry I ran, but I had to see Dr. Blowberry today and the policeman wouldn't listen. Don't worry. I understand now. <sighs> Looks like he's been crying. So he works. For the railway. Okay. I think he was once prosperous. That would make more sense. Definitely a daughter's gift. Wedding ring, but why is it on his right hand? I'm not sure what that means. Married, position of railway worker, depressed. Once prosperous, loves his daughter, not ashamed to wear a child's bracelet. Oh. What do you do for a living, Mr. Butcher? I. I work at the office of the Underground Electric Railways Company. Then you must be familiar with electrical devices. I am indeed. Why do you ask? It is of no consequence, but tell me, what are the reasons behind the problems you are experiencing at work? Problems? What do you mean? The 
this one. You have already received a written warning. Yes. I'm often late to work. My boss doesn't understand my situation. It's difficult since my daughter became ill. I see. Coincidentally, we found one of your company's cabs in the square where the accident occurred. Really? Why was it there? I have no idea. Do you? No. But a week ago, we had a technical cab stolen, along with its tools. Do you think that could be the one? It's possible. Very possible. Oh, that's it. That's all the information we can get. A young woman lost her life. That's sad. Is that what the black band means? I've actually never seen that. Mr. Butcher's wife. Oh, I see. For Stockholm. It's Admission a place. file at Karolinska University Hospital in Stockholm. So sad. Oh, we can look at her chart. What does she have? Meryl Butcher. Myelitis? I'm not sure what that is. She's on a lot of drugs. Must be something with her lungs. It's too bad. How sad. Okay. Well, what do we have? Oh, we have more dialogue. Wow. Okay. Good thing we didn't leave. Can she be cured? It'll take a long time. But I'm confident that we'll win this fight. I can't bear to think otherwise. Yes, it's probably just a question of money. What are you talking about? It's a question of willpower, and my daughter will win. I do hope so. Although the treatment at the Karolinska University Hospital is very expensive. Ah, um... Yeah, it's our only hope. Thanks to the good Dr. Blowberry, she finally has a bed. We're going out next week. It's our last chance. Do you have children? Yes. I have a daughter too. We'd sacrifice our lives for our children, would we not? Yes. Of course, yes. Hmm. Okay, so our interrogation is done. That was depressing. Alright, so what else do we have? We have to find out where that cab came from, but I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do that. We didn't examine. Oh, we have to go to the morgue. That's what we have to do. Okay, did we get any more clues? Oh, we did. Wow. Okay. Seriously ill. Tied to his problems at work. It's pretty tragic. would have been capable. I mean, I don't think he did it. But I think that he's capable of doing it if he really wanted to. Okay, I think that's it for now. What 
is this? Oh, that's the evidence room. This is the morgue. There's nobody down here. Oh, wait. Oh, but we can't look at them. I wonder if there was another table. For the belongings. It says that we have not examined all the belongings. And the straw isn't here, so he's not useful. Ah. Ah. The belongings of the victims. Rasco and his acolyte. Okay. A Webley revolver. Rasco is fond of licorice. Huh. A normal pocket knife. A standard deck of playing cards. So a police this. report about Rasco. He's only a minor criminal. Leader of a small gang. Dog tattoo. All right. Minor criminal. Who was the other? There was another box of sweets. Butcher had a box of sweets as well. Hmm. I wonder if that's related at all. Huh. A lot of ties to the gang. A lot. Okay, so we have to find out where the technical cab came from. I think we should go back to the scene of the accident. Because it hints that it may not be too far from the accident. So I think we need to go back and do a bit of searching. 